This is the moment in which some people get themselves in trouble because when I start to get the quiet, that's when you think you're going to stick in your last shot. It's not going to happen. Which the member just did. Please finish. Yes, I know, Mr. Speaker, they're screaming because it's an embarrassment. With it's not helpful. It is an embarrassment. Bill 26 being debated today, the Living Within Our Means Act, would require government to do what every responsible family across Ontario does with their lives, which is to live within their means. It says that the budget must be brought to balance by April 1, 2017, or the Executive Council would take a pay cut. It's a very reasonable approach, considering that Ontarians are the ones Question. paying their salaries in the first place. So, Minister, with all three parties expressing the need to bring our books into balance, can I count on your support for the Living Within Our Means Act this afternoon? Yes, sir. Minister of Finance. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate the question. And I appreciate the concern that you're having, as well as the rest of this House, about the fiscal responsibility to balance our books by 2017-18. I also appreciate the fact that you're willing to help us in this next budget because you should be approving this budget because no one out there is anxious for an election at this point in time. We need to have some stability. We need to ensure that we have a good economic plan going forward. Now, your private member's bill makes references, but it also talks about the uh, rating agencies. Part of the problem is you're limiting the opportunity for the government to achieve some of its results. We need to balance our books. We're looking forward to reducing our debt to GDP, and we're going to do so with yes, or without your support. Thank you. Supplementary. We're already counting on you guys. Minister, I have a quote from the Premier from the February 1st edition of the Toronto Star, and it reads, and I quote, It is obviously cr critical that we tackle the deficit and get to the point that we are paying down debt. Minister, this is what the bill does. Based on your government's newfound religion on fiscal responsibility, you'd think you'd be jumping at the chance to support a bill that, only that not only reduces the deficit but holds the government accountable, something you're saying is a priority for the government all of a sudden. Our province can afford another credit rating downgrade, and empty political promises will not prevent that. So, Minister, will you commit today to make good on the Premier's pledge? Bring some fiscal responsibility to our province Question. and support the Living Within Our Means Act. Mr. Finance. Mr. Speaker, we're achieving positive results already. We're below our deficit targets for this year, and we're moving forward in a very positive way. And we look to you to help us achieve those results because the public are looking for that stability. Now, the point in your bill that create some concerns, the negative impact it would have and the traditional and the additional pressure would put on the province's credit rating because of the increased pressures that it would add. That's the only issue. Otherwise, we're on the same page. We want to reduce our deficit. We want to ensure that the recovery of the, of the economy continues. And we want to make certain, Mr. Speaker, that we take a balanced approach. And I, I look to you not to promote slash and burn strategies that's going to have a negative impact on that recovery. We need to ensure that we do it pos yes, positively and in a, pro in a progressive you. manner. Your question? The member for uh, Manitoulin, uh, uh, Algoma, Manitoulin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question, my question is to the acting premier. It has been over 30 years, 30 years, since the last revision of the Mining Health and Safety Act. The Ham Commission recommended that this act be reviewed and updated every two years to reflect changes in the mining industry. Since 1978. Technology has evolved, but workers still face work-related injuries and deaths. Since 2007 alone, there have been 11, 11 mining deaths in Ontario. Will the minister commit to the families of those injured workers to review and update the Mining Health and Safety Act in an open and transparent manner? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Speaker. I will refer this to the